L70 has got her big boots on. Farmer's got some ideas of casting seed on and powering it in on top of that plowing. We're worried that it's going to come dry, get too dry. Uh, so farmer's got some ideas. We'll talk about that another day, but we're just setting up a wire in this shed just for the calves. Last year, when we let calves out, uh, a couple of them decided to just take off on their own. And one of them, they both just, well, two of them ran straight out the field, through the hedge, and through the, bar, uh, through the electric wire. They didn't even see the wire, just wrapped it. they just took off. So, um, yeah, this is, you know, we've done this before. We're just setting up a, it's just a wire look. And they will come to it and have a look and get zapped. And uh, basically it's a, a day of learning for what the wire is. So the cars will see the wire. Hopefully when they go out, they know what the wire is. Oh, I don't want to go near that. Uh, usually I do this on the day when they go out in the field, but uh, we don't want the hassle of chasing cars around uh, from field to field again. So uh, that was a nightmare actually, but uh, in the end, you know, they all come in. But uh, yeah, we've got to insulate it properly because you don't want the, um, you don't want everything live and you don't want the water trough live. So farmers just insulating it and getting the wire in the right position and some of the cows are already interested in it they'll get a wallop as well so everyone's going to learn something today oh oh it's, i can see where it's pinging it's on the wire itself can you see it yeah <laughs> fucking don't touch that one <laughs> i thought it is here <laughs> See what she's firing at her, Robin? Yeah, yes. What do you reckon? Uh, seven. Oh, oh. That's gonna, Ooh, that's gonna that's gonna learn them something. 9.2. <laughs> Is it? Holy shit, off that little fence, huh? Yeah, it's a hell of a thing. She Flipping said it was. Out. They're good though, aren't they? Them solar things. Yeah, and she wants to show the one. Do you want Matt to come with you with that? Yeah. Yeah, Just calm down, Linda. I don't quite know what he thinks <laughs> I have. I'd have already had them all. I don't know what I'm waiting here for. No, you'd have been stuck in a corner with that Claire chatting to you. Just, Just touch that. Just touch that. Fucking old boys. Hey? Right. Waiting, isn't it? Like standing about. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh look, it's raining again. Oh my god. Couldn't make it up this year. Anyway, we're going to move some stone for the farmer. He's on a digger leveling some stone. Keithy and Robert went out this morning. They went off and did second dose on the wheat over at Jim's. I think they were heading up to the mix. To do that but uh, I think this rain will stop them in the end which is a shame because it was just dry on top and just you know plenty good enough to go I don't know if they've tested the fence yet I haven't seen them but they would have and uh, we're just training them against the electric fence there got a couple of cows in there pretty close but nothing crazy got a calf out down here god oh my I don't know when we're gonna get going but everything's late now yeah, there's not much we can um, get on with apart from this at the moment. We are running out of jobs, but this is a job we got to do, so... This is what we're going to take along with. Anyway, we'll load this trailer up. Take it around to the farmer, he's got the digger on the stone now in the clean. And uh, he'll level it, and then we'll get a level done that we want. But weather is super annoying at the moment. We're late with everything now, it's just. Don't want to 
to do is be wheel spinning into the heap. You just start digging holes. The boys have uh, they've been rained off again. Well, rained off the wheat, but farmers said to them go and have a go on the grass. So they're going to go and have a little go on the grass. They might make some black lines, but we haven't been on there with the harrows and rolls yet. So, you know, we could always. Um, I don't think they're, they're on big tyres, you know, they might make some black marks in the in the grass, but nothing nothing that'll hurt. It's, uh, it's more important to get the fur on while it's wet than it is to, because uh, what we're, we, everyone's saying it, you know, once the tap is turned off, it, it, it's a job to get it going again, because once we've planted and got the fur down, you know, you could do with a bit of wet then, but you won't get it when you want it. That's what we're all worried about. But, We'll see anyway. They're going to have a go anyway. keithy has gone out there with Robbo. So they're going to chuck some on the grass out the uh, front of the farm here. But uh, we're getting on pretty good actually. We've got a few loads of stone in. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Ticking the boxes away. You can go down the track now. Linda's sheep are gone. I don't know if anyone's touched it yet. Oh. It's going to touch it. Whoa. When you're driving this thing down the road, <laughs> you have got to watch what you're at. Because you are relatively wide. <laughs> but you're also light as a feather. But this old, uh, this old semi, when the going gets a bit sticky, she struggles with power. But perfect on the rolls. Farmer wants to get across that plough in. Cast some seed on with a spinner. And then go in with the power harrow afterwards knock it down try and retain some of the moisture that will be there because once it stops raining the moisture is going to disappear and it, on the clay it just disappears way too fast you just can't it, it turns to concrete like quick oh yeah oh lovely job I'll have it open so you can run out if you need to. She's a bit of a fucking Yeah. yeah. No Let her calm down. No point getting out. No, no, no. I'm only born up when that. Oh, I can see the difference. You've got a white head. Yeah. That'll do. He's sucked. When yeah. we know white head sucked, little white head um, hasn't. Yeah. No point getting hurt with her, mate. No, no. I had a hell of a job to get her in. He's up on his feet. That's a good sign, isn't it? Huh. I've only had that one a quarter of an hour ago. That little one with a white head. Yeah. Literally just dragged him out backwards. Go on, boy, get under there. So, a farmer had himself set of twins not too long ago, only a little while ago. And yeah, he's just gone up to, or going up to load a lorry up at one of the other farms. Bit of hay, I think. Uh, me and Rob have got hay delivery at nine o'clock, so we're going to get done what we can. But we uh, we had a little bit of rain yesterday. Rob and Keithy went fertilising and did some of the uh, grass around the farm and the wheat over at Jim. Got a good chunk done. 
and I think farmer's going to send them off today to do a bit more they're talking of a little bit rain on Monday it's currently Thursday they're talking of a little bit more rain on Monday and then they're talking dry after that and the fertiliser really needs to go on with the wet so I think we're going to fertilise literally whatever we can up until Monday just so the fur gets washed in and Rob and Keith will be on that so Linda actually did some investigating uh, to see what bulls have done what in each pen and yeah so let's start with the Angus then so the little Angus here he's done some work he's um at the moment he's on 23 we just had a set of twins i don't know whose they are until we look it up before the twins we'd had 80 calves this one had done 23 the stabilizer here dave he was on 21 and then the Chevrolet here riley he was on 19 and then ricky he's on 17 so he's actually produced more than we thought so yeah we we weren't sure about him so linda did some investigating and well they're pretty even all the way through so that's what you want to that's what you want to see really you want to see each each bull doing the same amount of work you know you don't want one bull doing all the work um but yeah there will be a new bull here he's getting himself tb tested and then i think farmer will go and pick him up he might just end up going straight into the shed you know still a week or so to go before we can put him in the sheds uh in terms of date for carving so um yeah we usually aim for about first of february uh between first and february and then we usually get finish around the f you know the first of may time ish uh is when they finish so yeah but uh the new bull coming is he is going to be a backup for riley and what we'll do is in the middle of summer we'll swap him over with riley's calves uh, riley's cows and it'll just let him rest his leg or yeah I said about it before, he's got a little growth in between his toes and he just he just stands lame on it. I think it's Dave's last year. He can be here anyway before he starts going on doors. So, yeah, farmer had a result with him. Picked him up with some stabilizers we bought. I think paid a thousand quid for him. He's still worth more than that now. And he's given us a right load of calves as well. We had a bargain with him. He's, he, he's been a bit of a bit of a result, that, that bull. She's just a little bit um, aware of this cow, so just want to be quiet around her. The first one that came out was, um, he was the right way round. Farmer see him. Anyway, she, she was uh, stood up and a bit proud, so he didn't get too close. And then she sort of spun around and he noticed another bubble there. And the second one, the one with the little white head at the front here, he had one leg poking out backwards and yeah if, it's lucky we caught him because um it would have been another dead one we've had four sets of twins this time but three sets um one set of twins died they were died early in the cow we had to pull dead calves out uh the second set of twins um one came out front one came out backwards backwards one died and the second one was like that the, you know one good calf out of it and then the other one died so this is our first set of twins that are Healthy. She's got a bit of afterbirth hanging out the back there, so we just want to. That'll release uh, over time. I just want to see this calf suck, and we would be real chuffed. We ain't got to give him a, a tube then, but he's up on his feet, which is good. There aren't too many to go. There's only there's 25 cows in here, and out of them 25, I think there will be 10 or 12 empty cows. So. Yeah, there's, uh, there's one or two more close ones in there. He's in the right place. He just needs to get over. After the battle, sometimes he's getting them stood up and in the right area. You know, ones that tend to nuzzle around usually find it. Yeah, she's going to have her work cut out. She's got two calves to feed. They never ever turn out to be as big as a single calf. You know, she's she's got to divide that milk <laughs> in two. So they'll always be a bit smaller at the end. You know, you'll have a smaller animal. Farmer don't really like having twins because uh, for that reason alone, and they're a bit more hard work, you know, getting mum to deal with them. But she'll be all right. He's in the right area now, isn't he? 
I bet his brother's going to come and knock him off now. Two steers, I think, Rob. All right, me and the old man. Just taking 10 minutes to clean the front of these bulls out. Shan't need to uh, do the pens because, uh, you know, a few days' time they'll be coming out. Nice and clean along the front. They always get this. They always end up with that in there. Yeah, we're going to go. We've forgotten that the uh, dryer's going to be... Um, service tomorrow so we've got to go and get a drive go and get a tractor over there make sure there's a, a battery hooked up so the man can do his service i'll explain when we get there and uh yeah me and the old man are just sort of keeping the farm ticking over rob and rob and keithy are gone fertilizing they're on grass they go on arable what they can get on and they're just uh yeah they're just they're just picking and choosing their way across the fields at the minute um we've got one more rain event on monday and then from then on it's dry but we're very late now so uh you know things crops wise up there's going to be nothing to write home about this year in terms of crops but farmer's out there spraying he, he took his sprayer he's going to go and do some of that rust over at jim so that's a good job we can uh, it's just and it is just travelable out there so so we're looking at the uh the winter barley it's obviously uh not the best out there but we did manage to get second dose of fur on there Keithy did that the other day uh, they've done all this grass of so the Timothy grass and the rye grass down here that's all been done as well that was done yesterday we're steadily ticking things off here but uh, in terms of getting seeds in the ground we're still very behind and ground conditions just aren't good enough yet but um, I would have thought by the end of the weekend the drill would be back on and we will be looking at the ground at least. Anyway, we're going to have a look at this grain dryer. Job for me and Keithy when the uh, field work's finished is to mend this track. But uh, if you look at the wind, uh, if you look at the wheat here, you can see there's tinges of yellow across it. And this time it's not asking for fur, but maybe a little bit. It's had a second dose. Keithy come across it just yesterday. But more importantly, it's asking for its uh, first herbicide, 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 yes. Farmer's spraying uh, a spray on there that's going to take that disease out of that plant and it'll come back beautiful and green again. Give it three or four days, that'll be back to lush and green. Then it'll pick up its, um, its nitrogen. There's a big wet spot in the middle. I think Keithy managed to get through it by the looks of things. Or farmer sprayed it, one or the other. You know it's not ideal perfect conditions out there but it's very important it goes on so there we go we're uh, we're over with the grain the grain dryer the man's going to come up tomorrow he's going to run it up make sure all the bearings are going make sure the fans go in make sure the burner goes and give it a once over you know check everything so in the summer we don't have any breakdowns uh, last year we used it quite a lot some years we don't use it at all but it gets service every year, so there we go. Right, just had a fight with a PTO shaft, so yeah, we won in the end. Oh, oh no, and then you have black hands every time. Yeah, it didn't go rusty though, did it? <laughs> We're over at Peter's farm. I don't know if you can see it in the background, there's farmer spraying. I know for a fact those fields will be tender. This is probably the wettest field, uh, the wettest farm out of all the farms, just because uh, as you go down the hill, you, it sort of goes down, 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 and into the floodplains of Oxford there. So it's always, always last to drill. 12th of April today. So farm, what farmer's doing is all the green across the fields there is we want to kill that that's all weeds and second growth from last year and just all sorts of rubbish uh, that is all plowed fields so that tractor with the terror tires on that's going to come up here i think it's all destined for spring barley what we're hoping we can do is by the it, what happens is now you know it dries so fast the moment you move that soil it is drying and it's concrete and there's no in between with it it's just it's either too wet or concrete so uh, what we're hoping we can do, farmer's going to spray it all off. We'll cast some barley on top. We'll calibrate the uh, spinner for barley. Uh, we'll cast that on and then because it's all ploughed, we'll use the um, power harrow to cover it over 
and that'll be the finished job. That's what the plan is at the moment. Yeah, every day now, well, every day from April, you're losing yield, using, losing everything. We're not going to be drilling anything until Saturday or Sunday at the very earliest. It's Friday. Yeah, we won't be drilling anything tomorrow, I can tell you that. Uh, Sunday we might get on it and then Monday we're, we're due for a little bit more rain but it's going off steadily so Keithy's gone off to fertilize some more grass today with Robert and we've got a few more hay deliveries on and then tomorrow we're hoping we're hoping we can get on some of the drier fields at Graham and Martin cultivation wise uh, just to start getting some air into them get you know pull a leg through them get the air into them dry them out and then get in there with the drill Sunday maybe Two steers in it. Pardon? Two steers in it. Come on, Mum. Eh. Eh. She's stuffing her face. <laughs> She's stuffing her face. Eh. 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 Here she comes. I just want her to see where they are. Another one here, babe. Another one here. Eh. Eh. Once she knows where they are, she'll be alright, yeah. won't she? Okay, good. They should both be together. She'll like that a bit better. She'll like that a bit better out there. Keithy's back with his foot spinner. Done about all he can do at the moment. Still very tender out there, even on the grass. So we've uh, just pulled it a day for now. But, um, you know, give it a couple of days. We'll go, we'll, we'll try it again. But, uh, He's got it all washed off and clean. Robert's over here having a little look at the topper. I think Linda's back. Uh, all the shafts get greased up. Uh, we've just mended a couple of punctures, haven't we, Rob? We will check the lights. We will check... Yes, just run through it, make sure everything's the way it should be, you know. Uh, just check for any loose bolts. Um, yeah, just a, a good look over. And then uh, that's heading up to Peter's farm to top the runway whenever we can get on with that. So... Uh, Robert's looking at that anyway. That topper, whew, that gets some work through the summer. Uh, yeah, gets used and abused that thing. But um, I had a couple of punches on there, so we just took 10 minutes. Uh, we just put that, that Oko stuff in there. Hopefully, you know, m most of the time that does the trick, but um, depends how big the hole is. And uh, we just picked the rolls up. We're not gonna be going out, oh, I don't know. We might go and try a field tomorrow. It is, it's, uh, because it's been uh, like this for a couple of days, it gives you a false sense of hope of what it's like out there. And then we get out there and it's like, oh dear, yeah, that's still plenty wet. So, but anyway, it needs to be back. We need to grease each end. There's a grease point on this that you can lose literally. Yeah, there's grease points everywhere. All the folding points need greasing. Um, yeah, check it over, make sure there's no loose bolts. Uh, we'll check the tire pressures, check the lights. Uh, make sure it's ready to go we're uh, usually you know most of the way through rolling i'd have thought you know this sort of time we're usually focusing on getting cows ready to go out and stuff so yeah these are a nice set anyway watson rolls we had a little issue with the um we had one of these rollers slip off and where they join down here i'll show you again for anyone that doesn't know if you've got a set or if you know someone that's got a set get them to check the inside of this jaw here um ours was filled with putty they hadn't got a weld on the inside and we were using them on rough going it's that you know but uh all of them had a putty seam on the inside of this joint where it's welded onto this arm and yes whole roller dropped off farmer got it back up and uh, re-welded it on but we um we went through them all and put a block a, a proper weld down each seam so that don't happen again I um I think he did get in contact with the Watson people and they um whether they are welding them now I don't know but that's uh 
in our eyes that's a must you know wants a proper weld down the back edge of there so anyway farmer's done our set so fingers crossed we shouldn't have any more issues with that but apart from that real good wells you know make a lovely job i think they weigh seven tons something like that uh serial number yes full uplet seven tons and then four tons without water and you fill the drums up each side has a drum uh the only thing is for grass rolling you know it could do with those i think they do like a curved a curved barrel one because when you turn sharp it leaves a little line on the grass it's, it's not an issue but that's the only uh the only thing i can see that would make them better but they're a good set real good set anyway gonna grease them These pins here just hold everything together. Just in case you were to unfold it accidentally, going down the road. Just locks everything together. Just got to check tire pressures. She's had a good grease up. She uses, um, if you're doing a whole grease up, she uses a hell of a lot of grease, you know. But you only have to do a full grease up every three days. You can do the rollers every day, every eight hours on the rollers. Nice to meet you. Pardon? <laughs> what are you at? Yeah, good. Just picked him up. Lynn, this is your advertising billboard. Look, and it's I dirty. Know, How are you going to sell loads of hay without no. Clean motive. You watch Jeremy Kyle half the time. What are you on about? Robert's found a, a, a funnel that's the right size for him. <laughs> Took a while to find one small enough, but <laughs> there's one the right size for everyone out there. Okay. Right, here we go. All greased up, ready to go. All the lights work. to go mate it's the weekend it's been dry for like three days in a row it's unbelievable <laughs> but um we're over at peter's farm farmer was up here i think yesterday spraying it off anyway he's got this idea of um we're worried about this soil drying and then going like concrete because it's just um it is literally just heavy clay soils i'll show you what it's like so his idea is to uh cast the seed on with the spinner and then we were going to power harrow it in but we've been up here and had a go and it's just too wet underneath i'll show you what we've got going on the top is lovely and dry you look at this look oh beautiful but the moment the moment you move it let me show you here underneath there look it's just sticky sloppy it's just uh this is where we've been so we dropped the power harrow in and it's not left a good enough finish farmer wasn't happy so it's got some drying to do before anything else what we might do is uh leave it four or five days it's got a hell of a lot of drying to do this is the soil we've got going on you know the stuff this, that we've touched here, this is going to dry like you wouldn't believe. Two days, it'll be concrete. But it's just a bit of a job. It's not doing enough. It's not doing a, a good enough job for a seabed. And it's not doing a good enough job to cover the seed in after the, um, after the spinners cast it on. So unfortunately, this one's got some drying to do. And uh, the fields get worse as you go down the farm. This is the best one, you know so obviously this was ploughed but 
you, you ain't got to go far to find wet snotty and it, that's just under the surface we're just uh we're just here too early with it that's all what me and dave are going to do we're going to run over to graham and martin's see what the fields are like over there and maybe take the cultivator and then drill as much as we can tomorrow before the rain we're going to go and have a look anyway so I'll, I'll drag you over there with me but the video will be getting on now so yes all fun and games this year isn't it look at that the moment you move the top and the structure is beautiful that's all going to crumble when that dries that's going to crumble like this top but it is just it's just too wet in there at the moment all right we've moved camp we're over at Graham and Martin's. Dave's going to run the Colty Max for us. He's just in there getting a lesson off Darren. Just playing about with uh, some depth settings. Wheel eradicators. Now what we want underneath, this is far too sticky to come with a drill, but we want a nice, nice mat of soil. Oh, it's quite stony this end. It's quite, it's, uh, it's tight underneath, so we're just getting some air into it. And uh, we'll let it dry out and then tomorrow we'll come with a drill and hopefully drill it. But uh, yeah, I think I spent a bit of time looking at the wrong farm, so we should have been here really, but it doesn't matter. This will dry quick. By the morning, this will be ready to drill. A little bit sticky, so we just literally let the wind dry that off. And um, should be good to go. That's the ideal. What are you doing with that shirt off? Fucking <laughs> shit. Oh, <boy. laughs> hey, I don't... I've, it's how I turn it into that sort of channel. So I'm happy with that. I can drill that all day long. All day long. Anyway, put our shirt back on. Jesus oh, Christ. You've been working out. Right, we're back at the farm. God, that's been a right old afternoon. Went and fetched the tractor, took the spinner off, put the drill on, took the drill over to Graham and Martin's. Dave's over there cultivating, going pretty well. And we're open tomorrow to start drilling. Uh, so we're pretty chuffed, actually. We'll start a new video tomorrow. You know, we will be drilling. We'll see what it's like. And uh, yeah, we're going to be heading straight to the drill in the morning. Farmer and Darren will do the cattle in the morning. Just having a quick little look through. Uh, there's a couple in here pretty close. This is one of the twins. This is his mum. Uh, but anyway, we're going to leave it there. And uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. My mum's going a bit mentally. Where's your car then? She's lost one, that's what she's done. He's over there, look. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, we can get a bit more in the ground. It's late, it's not going to come too much, but it's, it's what it is. So. There we go, that's the year for you. Never mind. Right, catch you on the next one. <laughs>